Hello, in this video I am going to show you how to install Vulkan on your Linux machine so you can start coding in the Vulkan graphics API language. Okay, so there's a couple of things that are actually one main thing I want to mention. I'm doing this on Ubuntu. I feel like a lot of other people probably will be. If you are, then when I use the command apt, you're all good to go. You just, you know, use that command. If you're on something like Fedora, you won't have apt. You'll have the DNF command to be able to install packages. Some of the commands are interchangeable where you just change apt to DNF. Some or actually many of them are slightly different. Therefore, they are not interchangeable. What I'm going to do in the description i'm going to put all the commands that you're going to need plus you know the code etc all that stuff i'm going to put that there and i'll put it if it's you know for linux i mean if it's for ubuntu or something like fedora for example if you're not on fedora some other distro chances are you'll probably be following along with the apt commands like i'll be doing okay now that i've got that out of the way let's get down to it first of all we've got to download a few things so first of all you want to open up terminal do it like that or just go to show all application terminal this is you know built in nothing specific you have to install let me zoom in a bit uh, control plus plus okay so let me so this often that should be big enough to be fair and the first command we're going to install is sudo apt dash get install build dash essential okay so this will install a bunch of tools that are considered essential for especially stuff like development the two big ones that we're going to need from here are c plus plus so it's going to install gcc and make you need c plus plus 17 or newer this handles that this installs make as well so it's clear to that they are asking for your password this is the password that you use to log into your linux machine you may have heard that i typed it doesn't appear that's just for security purposes click enter once you're done and that's it yours may take a lot longer than this because i already ran the command and as you can see there was nothing to upgrade there was nothing to install nothing to remove everything was all up to date and already installed again i'd already done that okay so next i'm gonna do is sudo apt install vulcan dash tools and this is these command onwards is where you would change apt to dnf i know this one works if you just change it to dnf but like i said i'll provide a list in the description of the apt and the dnf commands so you can just be like okay i'm on fedora i need these dnf commands at this stage i'm on something like ubuntu i need these apt commands at this stage so i'll be showing the ubuntu ones but they're all in the description so this video is applicable for both methods click enter and because i had already typed in the password up here and not closed the terminal and reopened it running this sudo command because it stands for super user do did not require the password again if i close the terminal and reopened it then it would just bear that in mind if it does that's not a problem again i've already installed it hence why it's saying i don't need to do anything else at this stage run vkq by typing in vkq and pressing enter if this pops up you get a spinning cube you're all good to go that means you've got vulcan installed correctly on here and that uh, the vulcan tools that is and that your computer supports vulcan if this doesn't work the f my first you know recommendation will be make sure your graphics drivers are all up to date if they're not then that could be messing things up, up update that if you have any more issues i recommend that you go to something like vulcan compact API. I think it's API check. Uh, what's the name? 
GPU info, I believe that's the one. That's the one. So I'll provide a link in the description for this so you can check, you know, your specific GPU. Mine is a 1080. So if I go GTX 1080, latest driver version, and that's the max Vulkan API version. And I can obviously filter with a different OS as well. Recommend that you check something like this out. Okay. So now that we've got that, we can close this down. This was merely to check you know, our system supported it. Now we're going to install the development tools for Vulkan. So do sudo apt install lib vulkan dev. Again, I've already got installed, hence why it was very quick. Next command sudo apt install. Vulcan dash validation layers dash dev space spurv spirv dash tools. Okay, so if you get some unable to locate package like this, these are some debug tools that are useful later on for developing in Vulcan. Run this command. Run the snap install spurv tools this will pop up type in your user's password and again this will you know install it might take a little longer but i'd already done it hence why it was very quick and it says right here already installed okay next we need to install some tools like glfw which we'll use as the render window glm which will be the math library that we'll use later on glslc which is kind of like glew that allows us to use the modern features of vulcan so to do it again just keep your terminal open if you close it and reopen it whenever you run the sudo command as we are going to you'll need to put the password in again sudo apt install lib glfw free dash dev so that's glfw i've already got it hence why i'm all good to go sudo apt install lib glm dash dev again it's going to be the same thing here and now we need to download glslc if you are on fedora then there's a specific command that you can just run in your terminal. I'll put the link in the description. If you have something like Ubuntu, just open up Chrome or whatever browser you want. Go to this website. Again, I will provide a link in the description. And when you're here, scroll down, let's go to Linux. You can use Clang or GCC. I opt for GCC. So just open that and it starts downloading. I've already got it downloaded, so I'm going to cancel it quite a big file and now we need to actually copy that over onto our system so it can be used so if I go to do, 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 download and you want to extract this so use whatever extraction method that you prefer it could be via terminal it could be via the GUI interface like I've just done it could be using some other separate tool whatever it is so this shouldn't take long once it actually starts extracting it's pretty darn quick There we go. In here, we only need one little thing. And if we go to bin, we need the GLSLC. So we need to copy that over to a specific folder. And the folder that we need to copy it over to is, I'll just type it in here, forward slash USR, forward slash local, forward slash bin. But you know, it won't appear like that. So you wanna just go to your other location, go to your computer's hard drive on the root, Go to USR, go to local, and go to bin. You may have stuff here, you may not. I currently don't. Doesn't really matter. And what will happen if I try and do this? Doesn't do it. If I copy it and try and paste it, it, it won't let me, you know, paste it because due to permissions. So in the terminal, we're going to copy and paste it manually. So chances are this command won't work without sudo you can always try without sudo so we'll try without it so type in cp space drag and drop this glslc file on here and make sure there's a space after it which you automatically puts one then put forward slash usr forward slash local forward slash bin you'll moan about permission denied if that's the case just go all the way back 
and you can press up to go to previous commands by the way sudo space and there you go it has now copied over to make sure it's working you type in gl slc we'll get a little warning no error if we get this no input file because we haven't specified a shader file because gl slc is allows us to compile shaders and yeah that's so that's what we need i think i might have said gl slc is like glew if i did my bad it, it, it's a you know shader 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 it's a shader shader it's a shader compiler so yeah just bear in mind i think i may have said that that was my bad okay so as long as you get that you're good to go and gl slc has been successfully installed and next we can actually create our project so we'll we'll minimize this i'll close this down and on the desktop i'm going to create a new folder i'm going to call it vulcan test and in here i'm going to create a new file on my sublime i recommend that you get a text editor my recommendation is sublime text it is free that's what i recommend feel free to use whatever you want i've got this very basic you know vulcan application already set up we're going to save this into what we've already created so if i press ctrl s and if you don't have that there you can grab it from the github link there they i mean from github there's a link in the description and desktop vulcan test call it main yeah. main dot cpp like so and it saved it over here and now what we need to do is actually create a make file so if i just go to file new file again i'm not really explaining the code in this right now because i'm going to create a separate video explaining the code for you know vulcan and uh you know in a later video so I'm gonna go to file, save, call this make file with a capital M and save it in the same place, no extension. And now here, this is what we're gonna use to be compiling our application and running it. So in here, we need to put a few commands. So once you've done this once, you're all good to go. C flags, all uppercase, equals dash std, equals c plus plus 17 space dash capital o not a zero because that's why i initially put and it gives you an error capital o2 so this is saying use c plus plus 17 optimization level two you can remove this command it will help improve compilation it will make the compilation speed faster obviously with optimization level two it does make the file size smaller as well it is much better for release always do this for debugging you can remove it so compilation is a lot quicker again that's totally up to you and now next command is ld flags equals dash lglfw and we are specifying we need glfw we also specifying that we are needing vulcan and the subsequent you know frameworks libraries that we are going to specify are just ones that are required by vulcan and glfw so don't really need to know about them dash ldl space dash lp thread so far lowercase i'll mention if it's uppercase dash l capital x one one space dash l capital x lower x case x f 86 vm space dash l capital x r a n d r so rand r space dash l capital x i and those are all the ld flags again it's easy to make a mistake i what i'll do with all of this stuff i might put in the description there's definitely it's this make file is definitely going to be on the github page so you can just you know grab it from there and modify things as you need to i'll just compare if you have any you know problems i'm going to type in vulcan test and colon main.cpp so we're saying that the vulcan test application the main.cpp is the file to compile 
and we're going to put press enter it will automatically tab in something like sublime if it doesn't press tab this is very important type in g plus plus space dollar open parentheses c flags so we're just specifying the c flags variable that we created above close parentheses dash o this is just the output and we're going to call it vulcan test and main dot cpp space dollar open parenthesis ld flags again we're specifying the ld flags variable and these are going to be essentially parameters that are passed through and do, 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 do. and at this stage we can actually save it and we can technically compile so if i type in clear right now we are here we are to type in cd desktop i'll just press tab to autocomplete or what we can do is type in cd drag the directory on here like so and we're here if i type in ls shows us everything that's there if i type in make it you know makes the project and in here we have the make you have the vulcan test file if we try and double click it it will not run and we could we could i haven't tried it we could possibly go to properties permissions allow it see allow executing is enabled still doesn't work so what i recommend to run it for now is that you just type in dot four slash vulcan whatever the name is vulcan test and there you go if you get this no errors no warnings you're good to go and we've got actually i mean i say no warnings depends on the warning so i just want to make that clear obviously feel free to let us know and we'll help you 18 extensions supported that means there's 18 vulcan extensions supported and that's good stuff we can close that down so this is a bit you know convoluted having to compile the file and then run it separately what we can do in this make file add a few more commands that will clean our project it will compile it and it will run it as well so next so as you can see when i was clicking enter it was still tab now you don't want it tabbed i'm gonna put dot phony colon test clean and this will just clean our project and test colon vulcan test enter you want this to be tabbed so if it isn't just press tab for slash vulcan test again i'm just using autocomplete depending on your text editor you may or may not have that hence why using a good text editor is always good press enter and put clean again removing the tab clean rm dash f vulcan test there we go so this will you know clean the project it will build it and it will run it now the command is slightly different to actually test it you put make test which is what we specified right here so without that it won't actually run it so if i do make test there you go every single time you'll literally just create you know recompile it and give us a new one if i run make for example it's up to date so i can just delete vulcan test if i just run make it still you know compiles the project into an executable so you can still do that you're not forced to one or the other but using this make file you can either just compile it or compile and test it as well and this is probably the one that you're going to be using so that is it i know it's been a roller coaster ride for setting up vulcan at least i feel like it is especially when i'm planning it writing all the commands down making sure you know i knew i had all the commands there i didn't want to miss anything for you i don't think i have if i have let me know and i'll try and help you out okay so here comes the part where i say if you have any questions feel free to join us on the discord group there's a vulcan channel there's almost four and a half thousand members on the discord group there may already be by the time you you know you check it out and you can ask questions there all the commands will be in the description there'll be a github page and there that link will be also in the description this code and the make file basically the project folder will be there and that's really it so thanks for watching if you want to do some mac or windows i've got videos covering that setup as well so feel free to check them out and i look forward to seeing you in the next awesome vulcan video